We're making a skillet handle cover. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our lining pieces, place them right sides together, and then put that to the side for a moment. Then you're gonna place one of your main fabric pieces on top of each of those batting pieces. Then you're gonna place your main fabric pieces right sides together. And we're gonna take this to the sewing machine. You're gonna sew all the way around at about a quarter of an inch seam allowance. You're also gonna sew around your lining pieces, but you wanna make sure you leave a turning hole on one of the sides. At the sewing machine here, we've got that main fabric sandwich. I'm sewing at a quarter of an inch seam allowance all the way around, making sure that I'm catching all of those layers. At this point, you should have a layer of batting, your two main fabric pieces right sides together, and then that outside should also be a layer of batting. For your lining piece, you're also going to sew at a quarter of an inch seam allowance making sure you don't forget to leave that turning hole on one of the sides. And just take your time on those curves. As you round those curves, just go as slow as you need to in order to get um, that curve done. Once you complete that lining piece, go ahead and take it off your machine. Now we are going to turn out our main fabric piece and then we are going to place that inside of the lining piece with the main fabric and the lining piece right sides together. I'm fiddling here with my main fabric piece trying to get that all smoothed out. Another way to get this nice and smooth and a flat is to take it to your iron and press it. But as you can see now, I'm placing the outer fabric inside that lining with the right sides together. Now I'm gonna match up those side seams I'm opening up the seams in order to reduce some of the bulk that's going to be on the inside of my little miniature skillet handle mitt here. I like to place a clip on each of those side seams in order just to keep all of that fabric uh, placed together. Then I'm going to take this over to the sewing machine and as you can see this little hole is kind of tiny. I'm going to sew in the round all the way around at a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Just take your time here, that's a teeny tiny hole. Unfortunately, there's a little bit of a glare on my sewing machine, so you're not able to see the stitching as clear as I would like for you to. But I'm basically going as slow as I can, quarter of an inch seam allowance. I'm just working my way all the way around, attaching the lining to the main fabric piece. And once you have that done, you can take it off your machine. Don't forget to forward stitch and back stitch. Cut away all your scragglies and then go ahead and turn the whole entire project right side out through that lining turning hole. And as you can see here, I'm closing up that turning hole that I had there in the lining and I'm going to just sew that shut. When I'm at the sewing machine to close up that lining, I'm going to sew at about an eighth of an inch seam allowance, just riding the edge here in order to close up that turning hole. Then I'm going to cut away all of my little scraggly threads, get anything that's sticking out out of the way. And you're going to tuck that lining back into the main fabric piece. If you've got a uh, turning tool, then go ahead and grab that because it'll just make it easier to get everything smoothed out up inside of your project. And then again, this is a great time to take it to the ironing board so that you can get everything flattened out and looking nice and crisp. And once you have everything sort of flattened out and um, looking the way you want it to, there you have it you have got your skillet handle cover and that'll help keep you protected whenever you're cooking with your cast iron.